guess the biggest change was meeting Helen face to face and having a chat to see that we had the same ideas and values. And although it is a business, it's also about delivering uh, care to our clients and participants. I guess for me it was time for a change, a new challenge. I've uh, been in community hospital settings for many years, even overseas, but I think the new challenge of being your own boss, having your own business, um, was a bit frightening, but also very appealing at the same time. And I wanted to know that this business was not purely focused on the monetary side, but about being, you know, supportive of our people we're looking after and having that time and flexibility to be with them. And that's what Helen's uh, goal was as well. And so it just aligned perfectly. So we're very happy. Uh, like anything new, you just have to sometimes go out there and give it a go. There's always supports and help for when you need it. But to do something different, I mean, not many people start up their own business or franchise. Um, so I didn't have very many other contacts, so I had to rely on Helen and her network uh, to help get established. Well, what made me feel most supported was having Helen and the team behind me. So we've got like-minded colleagues uh, that you can always have a chat to or email and just get some ideas and assistance when you need it in a timely fashion. If I could go back in time, I would have liked to have started this business earlier. Just wish I met Helen earlier. Um, but I guess things happen at the right time, at the right place. And it's really good to be your own boss and focus on the areas of interest or even find new challenges and new areas to explore and work in. And you've always got that support network behind you. So going back in time, yeah, definitely would have started earlier. Once you get a bit of a name for yourself, there's so much work out there. It's just about making sure that you have enough time to give a good quality service in a timely fashion and not to say yes to all my referrals. I've got one therapy assistant pretty much working with me full time with my therapy clients and hopefully in August I'll have another one. There's just a, a big demand for it and I actually enjoy that and I like working with the therapy assistants. It's very fulfilling and you've got that consistency of care and ongoing relationship with your clients. So that's another thing that I value a lot. The most important thing for me, being in private practice that I can share with others, is being your own boss. I guess also just that flexibility and control and choice is really important. You want to be compassionate and understanding. Uh, you want to be patient and where you want to be a good problem solver. But there's plenty of work out there. Uh, the pay rate's excellent, and I just can't see why you wouldn't want to do it.